Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks Toy Reviews, where we look at all things cool and retro, but mostly whatever I feel like taking a look at. So uh, today, I just want to show you guys some quick uh, customs I made of some uh, night troopers, uh, you know, because of course the Ahsoka show is out. And, uh, spoilers, these guys are in it, if you haven't seen it by now. And, of course, like, you know, every show, uh, that Disney Plus is doing, the action figures are years, months to years to come after the, uh, the show is on. So, what do you do? You just make some customs. And that's what we've done today. And I just wanted to take a look at, uh, these three dudes that I made... Uh, using some stormtroopers that thank goodness we are in no shortage of. So I did just use some stormtroopers, uh, some paint, and some kind of maroon colored ribbon actually that I just glued onto them. And uh, you can see that I tried to imitate the gold. I forget what the term is where you repair things with gold. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I guess you've probably already watched a hundred things on YouTube talking about it at this point. But, uh, you know, I tried to capture that look that uh, the troopers are, they're very weathered and kind of beaten up from being in exile for 10 years. So they replaced some of their armor with uh, Maybe some of these gray parts for some reason. Not quite sure what the deal is with that yet. But they do have uh, the gold going on and the uh, ribbons to hold them together. And uh, some have said that this is like from the Night Sisters because it's kind of Night Sistery color. Sistery, Night Sister Act. Uh, so, you know, maybe it gives them extra power, extra. Stamina kind of gives them a, a boost or whatever. Uh, a lot of people speculated that these dudes were dead already and they were zombies to begin with. Kind of like the night, or not night troopers, but death troopers uh, that we saw in the, uh, not the cool black armored guys from Rogue One, but the uh, zombie novel came out some years ago now. More like a... Star Wars and the Walking Dead universe. Yeah, which doesn't seem like they are. But I thought what they did in Ahsoka was really cool. It didn't overdo the whole zombie thing. Um, and it, it was a huge callback to that episode of uh, the Clone Wars where the uh, Mother Talzin uh, reanimates some of the dead Night Sisters. And they go and uh, open up a big can of whoop-ass on uh, Count Dooku and the Separatists. So, I just thought it'd be cool to make some of these du these dudes. Um, you know, I, not a lot of effort, really. Just some paint, some ribbon that I cut up. I don't know what size it was. I just found it somewhere and I actually cut it in half so it was... Uh, more uh, along lines of what you see on their armor because most ribbons are kind of thick and yeah anyway yeah, i got it on there i think it looks all right you know doesn't have to be super detailed just having some fun yeah i did kind of give them a little bit of green glowy eye effect there if you can see that hopefully you can see that but, uh, there they are. BJ's custom night troopers. And I'm sure we'll see these guys uh, eventually from Hasbro at some point. But I wouldn't hold your breath because it'll probably be a Walmart exclusive. And it'll sell out in two seconds. Or an Amazon exclusive that'll sell out in two seconds and then you'll only be able to 
buy it from scalpers who will charge you $60 for a trooper. So don't do that. Just wait, you know. If you wait long enough, Hasbro will uh, they'll re-release everything. Or you'll find it at a cool toy show where you can buy it from your bros for a good price. So while I got them out, um, let me just show you. Oops. Let's see. We'll do some comparisons just for just for giggles. Let's see. And here he is. Oops. Sorry about the shaky cam. Uh, and there they are next to their buddy Thrawn. And uh, I only have one Thrawn figure, so I wasn't going to customize a uh, live action dirty uniform Thrawn. That's the one from, uh, eh, you know, just regular old Thrawn Black Series that came out a few years ago. But, um, let's see. And here is a a new era stormtrooper, I think, from the Mandalorian. You know, for those that aren't aware, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty detailed with what armor is what for stormtroopers. And the first time Hasbro really tried to get the stormtrooper armor right was for this new stormtrooper that came out and uh, first appeared in Rogue One. And it's the armor they use for everything now, somewhat kind of to retcon. Uh, what trooper armor used to look like because apparently these dudes have been withdrawn for 10 years. So Anyway, I don't want to get too much on that. You guys don't care But that's this dude and uh, These two guys right here are the same if you can't tell Now what did I use for the other two guys? I'm glad you asked uh, I forget what pack this came out. It was like a two pack or something or maybe a four pack. Uh, I forget to be honest. Sorry about that. But it was a battle damaged stormtrooper. And uh, I ended up with a few of these. And I thought, well, what better stormtrooper to use than one that's already battle damaged, right? Less work, less paint to put on him. And uh, he's the same kind of kind of wacky, goofy, like almost correct, but not quite mold that uh, they. Uh, came out with originally when they first started making these dudes in the six inch scale and if I had to kind of compare it to anything it's kind of a cross between A New Hope and Return of the Jedi but again I don't want to go into too many uh, uh, rants about armor differences just want to show off some cool figures maybe you'll think it's cool and there he is with it Sand Trooper. And let's see. And uh, like I was talking about, one of the Wiggly Wonkly uh, Stormtroopers that they came out with uh, originally as the first Black Series Stormtrooper mold. And you know, it looked, it's fine. It doesn't look bad. They're just a little different here and there. But. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? You gonna try to make some customizers for any customizers out there? I used to customize stuff all the time, but uh, they just kind of got to the point where they were just literally making everything that I would end up customizing. So I just stopped and just said, well, you know, I'll just wait and they'll probably make this figure. But, you know, it's Halloween time and I thought it'd be fun to make some of these guys. So it was like, wow, look at you, man. You're dirty. You kind of stink. I bet these guys stink. But they're, but they don't smell great. Living on a star destroyer on a weird planet for ten years. Probably never uh, changed their armor. Never changed their socks either. So there's Ahsoka, and you know we don't need to see every character with them. But uh, what do you guys think? I think these are dumb. I think these are cool looking. I thought it was kind of fun to do and kind of, you know, neat thing to do for Halloween time since Halloween's coming up. And uh, there it is. So uh, here's my custom Night Troopers as seen in Star Wars Ahsoka. So if you like this kind of thing, uh, you know, if you want me to do more, I'll do more. If not, I'll do less. Let me know. Let me know what you think. 
give me a like, share, and uh, while well, I'm living on a prayer. And uh, you guys have a have a happy Halloween. And uh, I'll see you.